Every time I seem to start the recording, I have messed up somewhere or I have managed to get a phone call and I have not figured out how to actually just pause recording and resume in the software yet. Plus horrible software right now to splice together the videos. All right, making a tulip now. Looks like it's gonna be six leaves. I'm just gonna kind of doodle this one out, starting with a single vertex right there. It's on zero, zero. Got the reference image a little behind it so that I can actually see where I'm working. <clears throat> I'm in edit mode and we're just gonna command click, 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 click. Just kind of go up this shape here. Uh, popping it out to the 3D look I want. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but I want this shape from the side I know. And I'll get there eventually. Sometimes I just poke around when I'm doing the doodle stuff until I have something I actually want. And connect these two so that it's solid all the way around. And this time I'm actually, you know what? Um, yeah, this will still work. No, you know what? We're going to go ahead and get rid of this again. We're just going to start with the plane and turn it up sideways. That way I can make sure I have good polygons on the inside and when I do subsurf it'll be all nice. I do really like to do it vert by vert sometimes, but <clears throat> oh, I still got proportional editing on. There we go. Now I can move this one. Just kind of get this shape down here that it has outlined. Then I'm going to extend these out. Just constantly keep them on the x axis. Pull this up. Pull this one out some. Now I'll probably just do this whole thing up on the z axis. <clears throat> Pressing E for extend. Just extending them out. using the little gizmo just because it lets me move them right along the plane rather than getting off in some weird area. Just pull this down so it's a little smoother. Flowers, turns out it's easy. Um, mostly. <clears throat> it's becoming a habit, I guess, which I'm not proud of. 
<laughs> but uh, the last one was a bomb. Uh, well, it actually wasn't a bomb, but you got to put the efforts of what you're good at at places where it's worthwhile and meaningful rather than wasting your time on things that are not appreciated and not cared about. Okay. But the other flower is sitting at a 3D printer right now. And on Valentine's Day, I might start getting some commissions, which is hopeful because, you know, starving artist. <clears throat> All right, let's give this a subdivision, bump it up to two levels. Let's go ahead and apply smoothing just because. Make sure it's got smooth edges, smooth vertices, smooth faces. You don't have to do it all this way. It's just a habit because I've fought with so many models that had weird settings. All right. Uh, for now, I'm probably going to hide this reference image and try to get this to mirror the way I want it to. Because I'm going to want it to actually... But it's going to need a thickness to it also, so we can go ahead and apply a solidify and just talking to the 3D printers and stuff. I know that about two millimeters is the minimum thickness, so it is now set and able to be 3D printed that it's now two millimeters. And then I'm going to put a pivot point there, and we're going to rotate this out this way a little bit. And then we're going to apply a mirror modifier. <clears throat> I'm going to get it off that x-axis. Should be the y. Whoop, nope. Yeah. Apply all transforms. There we go. I'm going to turn on clipping. I'm going to grab all these edges and force them to clip. I got some that are past the uh, y, y axis whenever I started here. So we'll get them to clip in, clip in. There we go. So that it's actually kind of creating a <coughs> sealed pedal over there. I'll have to come out and like push some of these things out, but we're about to pull these out with some proportional editing. Let's see what happens when I just pull them out. All right. but I want them to kind of round out. Like so, I have to push that one back in. It's actually starting to look uh, tulip petals, kind of tall, gives you kind of that square or rectangular bulb. That up there, we need that actually connected across eventually, but that is looking a lot like a tulip bulb to me, actually, or tulip petal.
push these in a little bit. They're uh, hitting that subsurface and it's giving that weird edge over there. <clears throat> it's pulled out a little too sharply. There we go, smoothed it out. And then if I add a circle cut here, oop, of course. There we go. Just pull this down some. I actually need to put the subdivision stuff below the mirror. So let me come up here and grab the subdivision. I'm just going to delete it for now. And <clears throat> I'm going to add it again. And it should actually put it way down here at the bottom because it does them in order. And that's why I was getting that weird little lip down there. And now that weird little lip is gone, but we're going to add another one of those little ring cuts going this way right here so that I can pull this out and smooth out that bottom. Take this one down some. I'm going to grab these lines right here. Try to move all of them over some. <clears throat> it's not necessary. It's looking okay, but everything kind of goes along those lines so it'll smooth out the way you kind of want it shaped. This point up here is pretty ugly to me, but we'll clean it up. It's just coming into a point as a problem. I can probably actually get this in there and add this as subdivision. <clears throat> Doing that it prevents it from trying to make such a sharp curve right there. Looks like I'll have a weird little connection point right there, but it'll be all right. Let's see what happens if I actually get rid of that single point and redraw it. No, it's still the same problem, but it'll be okay. I can come in later with sculpting or something, kind of smooth it out. Plus, petals aren't perfect. They're made in nature. Got all the stressors and stuff of life on them. It's kind of cleaning up what I was talking about earlier. So I kind of get the smoother shape down that I want. <clears throat> Let's hit this x-ray here for a second so I can get that one little piece I want. I'm going to pull this one out a little bit. Pull this one down a little bit. Still needs to be tucked in, but should actually be able to merge those, merge it last. Knock off that x-ray. Plug in my Mac that I'm bad about hitting the cord on. I'm pretty much the sole reason that the Xbox controllers went wireless with the little breakaway controllers.
But looks like a tulip leaf to me. Let's see what happens when we apply some of these modifiers. Uh, it's going to separate right there. Mm. Let's go ahead and apply. There we go. That is a tulip petal. The inside can be smoothed out a little bit. It's got that pretty heavy crease on it, but you should be able to address that. It's got plenty of <coughs> surface if I decide to come in and sculpt these to get them all kind of looking individually. Um, they're not the best for thirds though. Probably should have grabbed a reference image of something in threes. <clears throat> Just like a pie chart, anything, and like wrapped it around it a little bit better. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's get all my modifiers back on there undone. And this will take just a second. Got to turn on my hotspot. We're still without internet. And let's hope I don't get any crazy stuff showing up. Because we're on our third take. I don't want to start this one over. That one's looking good. In fact, we're probably going to turn off the screen for now. Just, just on uh, principle. Okay. Uh, infographic is on the way There's some company that has exactly three-way split sales that I'm still in this just to <clears throat> wrap the leaf pretty properly and done all right let's screen back on sorry about that Still getting used to all this and don't want to put out way too much private information. Done it a few times too much already. <laughs> oh man, oh, I don't need Firefox. Quit, force quit. All right, I'm gonna go from the top and I'll add in an image reference and it's the infographic one. Zero this out and my roommate's awake now, so I'm probably gonna end up disappearing again. this see and with it being thirds I need to actually rotate this whole piece that I was working on so that it kind of fits on that and the pivot point for that's probably going to be like right here whoops but if we push it out like that pull it back 
<clears throat> there we go, that's one third. I'm gonna have to clean up those ones that ended up sticking out and the ones that got pushed in, which gave me that nasty edge right there, but that's easy enough. Just pull them out a little bit. Push these back out. Push this one down a little. Here we go. All right, uh, let me stop this video because it's about to get super loud and distracting and it's gonna get all bad.